Greetings, my excellent friends. It is Sunday, April 16th, 2023, here in beautiful Tokyo, Japan. You've got the Hobby Drifter here once again. As I'm recording this video, we are just a few days away from the release of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers reunion special, Once and Always, on Netflix. I'm very excited. And uh, because of that, I wanted to do something uh, kind of Power Ranger-y. Super Sentai themed uh, for a video today. Uh, so I was looking at my my uh, backlog, my my pile of, of uh, collectibles and toys and games and stuff, which I'm sure we all have. I'm sure we all have a, a literal five foot tall pile of uh, of nerd stuff that we've just been meaning to dive into, and that's in no way a reflection of uh, you know me. So. A few weeks ago, or a few months ago, because I don't, I'm not great with the time, uh, I bought this from Book Off, and it is um, a display box of unofficial Sentai Akiba Ranger uh, mascot characters uh, in the uh, SD or uh, chibi form. There's ten of them in this set. Um, this whole set set me back a grand total of uh, 1,540 yen, which doing a little bit of hobby drifter math, which is uh, not the same as regular math because hobby drifter math is uh, usually wrong. Um, 12 US dollars. And uh, according to the outer thing on the wrapper, it said that this was a, a full set, but you never know. Uh, I have had some, some weird misfires from Book Off before, but uh, honestly, I, I would have paid this price really just for like the set of the, the three uh, Akiba Ranger characters, just, just, just the three. Um, so, I mean, really, I'm going to get my money's worth out, out of this. But I still haven't opened it. Got it a few weeks ago or a few months ago. I, I, I don't remember which. And it's just been sitting here in its book-off display plastic ever since then. And, you know, I'm, I'm not going to waste any more time, I'm going to try to uh, open this. And I'm going to say try. Okay, Book Off, or at least the Book Offs that I go to, are absolutely meticulous in their wrapping of stuff like this. So there is never any easy place to get like a, a pair of scissors or a fingernail or something in here. Uh, so it's always, always a struggle to uh, get these things open. I know it's it's done to prevent, you know, someone like opening it in the, the store or whatever, but I mean, that is such a rare <laughs> occurrence. I mean, this is really, really well done. Uh, the way that these are, are sealed like this to the point. Yeah, there is not a single point of easy point of, of entrance. It's really kind of silly. So, okay, I've, I've gotten my, my cutting tools in here. I've gotten getting it open box definitely shows some some shelfware. Yeah, the box definitely definitely has some shelfware. Um, also it is not uh, sealed. It has been opened this way. This is actually a, a stored display case and there's directions here on how to uh, display it in your store or if you're uh, you know, a, a hobbyist, how to display it just in your collection. But I mean, who, who honestly in their, in their right minds would, would keep an entire store display just sitting in their, their collection? I mean, especially if you would have like, if you would be crazy enough to have more, more than one of these displays, even after opening them to still have them in your collection. You'd have to be mad. You would have to be completely mad. Or a hoarder. And uh, I'm somewhere in between. So let's get this thing open. Wow, it's, it's, it smells like 2012. There we go. Ah, uh, these, these take me back, like back in the day, 
back in the actual literal day you would see these things for sale all over the place at like toy stores and electronic stores which admittedly there's quite a bit of overlap too and they were and this is how they're different from now they were really cheap these things were probably 200 yen at the time maybe 300 yen um nowadays whenever they sell these things they're like you know 500 yen or more. and it's not but when there's there's 10 of them and they're blind packed um it's ridiculous uh the, like your chances of getting like the one that you want are slim to none um this box says that one box contains a full set of all 10 which again um cool but if you are just after like one or two specific ones and you're just picking from a box like what what are the odds you know at, you know at, you know two bucks three bucks a piece who cares you know just buy a bunch of them or do the otona guy thing and buy the whole case but i mean and that's what that's what they're there for you're they're they're, they're anticipating people are going to to buy the whole case um and it looks as though it looks as though all of these are still sealed like this is how they recommend opening it and the bottom part is also still sealed do i actually want to go through with opening these um i don't know like i don't know maybe this maybe this box is worth a lot of money maybe it maybe it's sealed maybe i should have each one of these individual boxes graded i should take each one i mean they're not in the best of shape they're not in the best of shape they're not in the best of shape so you know what okay Let's get these things open. Or at least some of them. I'm curious. Alright, so the one in the front right is... That's an interesting way of having the hair look. Um, so each of these comes with a display base, the uh, body, and the head. Um, the bangs on this figure, of course, are you know, posable. Uh, they're not actually bangs. They attach it here. Uh, so this this one is uh, Aoi uh, Ichikawa. She looks thrilled to be here in my collection. Next one. And I love the, the feel, the feel of these boxes. It's different from the ones that you'd see now. Like these more recent ones are more glossy. The cardboard is much thinner. These, uh, not nearly as glossy. The cardboard is much, much thicker. Um, smaller in size than the Ava ones. But, yeah. Very, very retro. And it's weird to think of something from 20 fucking 12 as retro. But, I mean, that was more than 10 years ago. Alright, so the second one uh, on the right-hand side. What do we got here? Way. I am opening these upside down because I will put them back in the display box when I'm done with them. Alright, so next one behind Aoi is... Alright. There we go. Here, here we have uh, Shachiku. Salaryman guy. And yeah, each of these bases is... Uh, Branded with the, the name. Alright. So 
So I'm wondering if all of these were actually, I um, wonder if all of these were packaged in the same way. I remember like when I was collecting uh, Spider-Man cards back in the early 90s, uh, there was, they, they weren't specifically packaged the same way, but there was like some, some pattern to getting like the, uh, the chase figures. I'm opening these upside down because I want to preserve how it looks with the box, but uh, whereas with the Ava ones a few months ago, uh, those were much easier to open that way, uh, getting these ones open upside down is not as easy. Like, I'm really, like, tearing the shit out of these, these boxes to, to get them open that way. Third from the front on the right hand side is Malzina. That's some nice detail work on her. You know, years and years ago, I found this uh, like a scholarly report on why so many Japanese kids show characters uh, had a villain that was a like stunningly beautiful, like very sexy woman. And I kind of glanced at it all those years ago, like 15 years ago, and I have never been able to find it again since. Um, as I recall, it didn't lean heavily into uh, weird misogyny, but who knows? I am definitely noticing a pattern here. The next one on the right is uh, the character. Uh, oh, Hakase. Hiroyo Hakase. The, the Zordon type character. When I first glanced at these. Uh, at the book off, I kind of thought they were like charm mascots, like with like the little strap that you would hang on your phone or your bag. But you know, these all have little display bases, um, which it's nice because that does make them a lot easier to display than just you know having them hang from uh, hang from straps. That's four in a row on the right hand side are the non characters. Like like the non Ranger characters, which means the remaining six should all be the, the main cast in civilian and uh henching forms. Yeah, see. Yeah, the the glue that is used on the bottom of these these packages is extremely strong. Um, this is the first one of these boxes that I'm just like, yeah, I'm just, <laughs> just absolutely destroying the shit out of this. And I think it even says on the bottom, like, yeah, don't don't open it from this side, but do what I want. All right, so our first uh, civilian character is uh, Moegi. in full cosplay attire. All right, so we've got the side characters and Moegi, which means, what do we think for the rest of this thing? Do you think the next one will be morphed version or will it be like the civilian version of uh, Akagi or uh, Aoyagi? What do we think? Are they gonna go like yellow, yellow, blue, blue? Or are they gonna go 
civilian, 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 or are they just completely random? I don't know. But the fact that this whole side was the, the side characters versus the, the mains uh, makes me think that this is not as random as maybe uh, I was originally considering. Uh, so maybe, maybe the line would go like red, red, or like red, blue, yellow, civilian red, civilian blue, civilian yellow, and it'll just like a, like a horseshoe shape. Which means this one, from the very front, the front one on the left side, would be the red one. But again, there is no guarantee as this case was opened. Was opened. So we don't know. Maybe the person who, you know, opened it all those years ago never removed the boxes or was meticulous in putting the boxes where they originally came from. And now I'm just, I'm just ruining it. Who knows? What do we think? What is in here? It is civilian blue. Oh yeah. Right in my first guess, civilian, civilian. Maybe the next one's a civilian. Maybe the next one. How would he have known? I'm assuming he. How would they have known? How would they have known? You know the order to to rebox them in. What are the odds? So this, if there is an order, if there is any kind of order in this universe or in this box, this will be the uh, civilian version of uh, Akagi. Which cute that his name is Akagi. It's red. Find out. Let's crack this pack. And share the joy together. Is it? What is it? What is it? It is! It is! Civilian! Civilian Akagi. Oh, look how happy he looks. Is this the only civilian version of this character ever released? There wasn't a ton of... of... Akiba Ranger merchandise released. Uh, there was a... there was a... There was a bit, but I mean, as far as the uh, thing goes... So, okay, so I'm guessing now yellow, blue, red. So it would have been like a, a horse... No, it wouldn't have been a... Would have been, okay, so I guess starting here and... The, oh, man, it's it's tripping me out. So I guess it, it wouldn't have been a horse. It would have been like... Do, 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 or, yeah, okay. So it's like... Other ones. This one. Oh, it's crazy. It's crazy the way this is done. But I'm, I'm guessing, I'm ge this one, this one almost definitely yellow. No, blue, this one almost definitely blue. This one could be yellow or it could be red. What do we think? What do we think as I rip the cuticle off of my, my fingernail trying to get this last one open? You know, when I was doing the Ava ones a few months ago, uh, I was thinking to myself, like, maybe I was just doing it wrong all these years, and I, I remembered opening these things from the bottom, because I, I used to do this with the uh, uh, Kabaya Transformers. Maybe it wasn't as hard as I remember it. Maybe I was just young and weak, but no, it actually did used to be a lot more difficult. What do we think? Yellow? Blue? Red? Probably yellow or red. Is it? I'm gonna guess yellow. It is. Da, da, da. I am correct. Yellow. Oh, that is a good looking sculpt. The body and the head are in one piece. The accessory is just the tassel. And there we go. Akiba Yellow is the thing. All right. Which means next one will almost definitely be blue and then red, which if the case, if that is the case, then we know that yes, somebody bought this years and years ago, opened it and put it back completely the way it was, or failing that, maybe book off just opened it and cut the tape themselves. That is also possible. So 
so excited for once and always. I so hope that uh, it's supposed to be global, but I'm wondering if it's one of those global things where it's like global except for Japan, like a lot of Transformer stuff is, where it's released worldwide except in Japan because of weird licensing stuff. I was correct. It is blue. Accessory is just the one tassel and the stand. Which means that the final one, assuming that this is in fact a full set, and someone didn't just uh, maybe buy like two boxes and then be like, oh, everyone's gonna want the red one. That's the one that you need to have in the set. Maybe they just like swapped it. Oh, that, that would be cruel. That would be a cruel thing to do send me straight to uh, Sudugaya or Mandarake or maybe even Amazon Japan looking for that one that I was missing. There is no way this is done by machine. Like somebody must have actually perfectly applied the glue to these things to make it so, oh my god, look at that. <laughs> I wasn't even trying to do that. I was trying to be neat with it. Wow. It's just cruel the way that's done. All right, and the last one in the set, of course. No one pulled a, no one pulled a prank. It is Akiva Red. There he is. So interesting note about these. Um, they do seem to have survived the years pretty well. I mean, they've just been, you know, in dark boxes inside another dark box. However, the uh, base part is still discolored. That happens on a lot of uh, plastic stuff. Uh, I've seen it on a lot of uh, cheaper uh, Japanese collectibles in my time. Um, so it's it's not a it's not caused by exposure to sunlight or smoke or anything like that. It's just product of age. You'll see it with a lot of uh, stuff using fairly inexpensive uh, plastics on, I guess, now even newer Japanese collectibles. So that's it. That is it. That's all of the uh, unofficial Sentai Akiba Ranger mascots. I've got now the whole set of ten looking forward to getting these out of their plastic wrappers and displayed. I'll probably wind up doing a couple of uh, photos, you know, doing like my, my Hanami backdrop, like the one you got here. Maybe I'll put them in like a, a Kiyomizu data thing. Maybe I'll finally get like a, a cityscape type thing, or maybe a, maybe I'll do like an, an Akihabara backdrop and have the Akiba Rangers displayed there. That could be fun. Um, maybe I'll do some, some, uh, like setups making it look like they're, they're morph and do like, I, I doubt there's any existing like chibi Akiba Ranger uh, GIF images <laughs> changing one to the other. So that could be a, a fun little thing to do. But we are now almost 25 minutes into this video and uh, I can't really imagine that this is going to be entertaining for anyone other than, uh, than me down the, the, the road. So I am going to end it there. Thank you all very much for watching. Take care. Happy hobbying. And remember, even with all of the uh, bullshit going on, especially in the United States and uh, UK right now, trans lives are human lives. Trans rights are human rights. Thank you very much. Stay safe. Happy hobbying.